खास गाए गैया दूध पीगा छुट सुमेरो मदन गोपा छुट सुमेरो मदन गोपा छोटी छोटी गैया छोटी छोटी जय श्री कृष्ण प्रभु जय श्री कृष्ण प्रभु जी Krishna Hare Krishna thank you so much Mataji for such a sweet um bhajan thank you Mataji mm-hmm. yes vinayak um pakki can i do a kesam kirtan praji okay go ahead हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे हर हरे राम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम मो राम हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम थैंक यू सो मच विनायक प्रभु फॉर दिस वंडरफुल कीर्तन एंड थैंक यू टू ऑल दोज हु ज्वाइंड लास्ट फ्यू मिनट्स शीतल माता जी विनीता माता जी संपदा माता जी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वंडरफुल एसोसिएशन so we'll start with the bhagavad gita today and if time permits we will take us wonderful story as also om agyan timirandhasya gyananjana shalakaya chakshurun militam yena tasmay shri gurave namaha श्री चैतन्यमनोभीष्ट स्थापितूतले 
स्वयं रूप कदाम ददाती स्वदा वंदेहम श्री गुरु श्री युतापद कमल श्री गुरून वैष्णवांश श्री रूप सागर जात सह गना रघुनाता तम सजीव साइत सवधूत परिजना सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्री राधा कृष्ण पादा सह गना ललिता श्री विशाखा हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनीश्वरी विषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाया तदालये कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तद्भक्ताय नमो नमः कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तद्भक्ताय नमो नम नम ओं विष्णुपादाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिनी नमस्ते सरस्वते देवी गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चातारिणी जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवास आदि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सर्वे सुखि सर्वे सत निरामय सर्वे भद्रा पश्यंत मा कृष्ण दुख भाग भवे ओं तत्सत हरे कृष्ण थैंक यू सो मच अगेन फॉर टेकिंग योर वैल्यूएबल टाइम ऑन अ सैटरडे मॉर्निंग Where you have, we have. Everyone has millions of things to do in life. And all of you are so sincere who begin the day or begin the weekend um, by Krishna conscious reading of Bhagavad Gita. Eko shastra deva ki putra Gita. Eko devo deva ki putra eva. There is one supreme Lord, Sri Krishna. There is one holy book, Bhagavad Gita. If one takes shelter of Bhagavad Gita. Karmani ekam tasya devasya seva, and there is one activity that is devotional service to Lord Hari, Lord Mukunda. One who does that will certainly be free from the clutches of birth and death. So last time we discussed chapter ten, the Chatushloki Gita, the the seed verses eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Most of you have even memorized that, which is excellent and highly recommended. Uh, who knows? 10.8 was memorized. Okay, let's do a quick quiz. Yes, Avni will say eight. Who knows nine? Who knows nine? Kibanita will say nine. Who knows 10? Kibanayak will say 10. And where they will say 11. Okay, let's get started with a quick revision. Aham Sarvasya Prabhavu Mata Sarvam Pravartite Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Prana Bodhyantas Parasparam Katyantas Shamam Nityam Tushyanti Charamanticha. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Tesham Satam Yuktanam Bajatam Pratipurvakam Dalatni. Wonderful, thank you. Yes, eleven. Hare Krishna. Desh ame vanu kam partam ahama gyana jam tama nasha yam yatma bhavasto gyana de vena bhashvata. Excellent, thank you. It's not just for kids to memorize verses. <laughs> it's for everyone. So everyone should, at least these four are the most essential. 
if you have to learn top 30 verses of Gita, these will certainly fit in there. These four are very important. We talk about the essence of bhakti, which is the three aspects, Sambandha, Abhideya, Prayujan. First, understanding who is God, who am I? Then when we understand that, what next? Then we start. Machita Madgata Prana. We talk about Krishna. We discuss about Krishna. And then guess what happens next? The ignorance is destroyed with the lamp of knowledge. The ignorance is destroyed. And then that person will certainly get the ultimate fruit of bhakti, which is called prayojan. And um, one who does priti purvakam, bhajatam priti purvakam, Krishna will give the right intelligence, Krishna will give the right words, the right guidance, the right uh, understanding. And that's basically to, to intensify our love towards God. So this all is covered. So not we'll not reiterate that, but we'll move on to text number 12 and 13. Uh, and like always, if anyone wants to read, you can raise your hand so you get a chance to, to read. Um, so we are at the third section of this chapter. We divide the acronym, the S-E-E. -E. The acronym is C, trying to see God. The S, the first seven verses talk about the source of everything. Okay. The first seven verses talk about how he is the source of everything. The next, how he is the essence of everything, the essence of Gita, the middle eight to 11 verses. Now we'll talk about E, how to see God everywhere, right? And let's begin this wonderful section from text number 12 onwards. Yes, Ravi Prabhu, Avni, Anjali. Hare Krishna devotees, Arjuna Uvacha Param Brahma Param Dhamma Pavitram Paramam Bhavan Purisham Shashvatam Divyam Adi Devam Ajam Vibhum Ahustva Mrishrishya Sarve Deva Rishi Naradas Tatha Asito Deva Lovyasa Swam Chaiva Bravishime Arjuna said you are the supreme personality of Godhead, the ultimate abode, the purest, the absolute truth. You are the eternal, transcendental, original person, the unborn, the greatest. All the great sages such as Narad, Ashit, Deval and Vyas confirm this truth about you. And now you yourself are declaring, declaring it to me. Haribol. Hare Krishna, thank you so much, Prabhu. So here, now Arjuna starts to speak. Until the previous verse, the Supreme Lord was speaking. But now the mic has been given to Arjuna. <laughs> His turn to speak. Hmm. What is he talking about? He's talking about the greatness of the Lord. That how the Supreme Lord is Parabrahman. Hmm. So Prabhupada mentions in this purport, which is very nice, again, in these two verses, maybe someone can read uh, the first section, yeah. Who wants to read here? So, I can read, Prabhupada. Yeah, Mataji, please read. In these two verses, the Supreme Lord gives a chance to the modern philosopher, for he for here it is clear that the Supreme is different from the individual soul. Arjuna, after hearing the essential four verses of Bhagavad Gita in this chapter, became completely free from all doubts and accepted Krishna as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He at once boldly declares, you are Param Brahma, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And previously, Krishna stated that he is the originator of everything and everyone. Every demigod and every human being is dependent on him. Men and demigods out of ignorance think that they are absolute and independent of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. That ignorance is removed perfectly by the discharge of devo devotional service. Thank you, Mataji. 
Thank you, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. So Arjuna is mentioning here, like, because a lot of Mayavadi people say, oh, Brahma, I am Brahmas, I am that, or I will become that. There's a lot of so-called uh, philosophy in the minds of uh, non-believer believers or Mayavadis who want to merge with the God or who want to become God. But here, Arjuna is clearly telling what? That you are Parabrahma, you are the Supreme Brahma. We are tiny soul. Anu in Krishna is Vibhu, the supreme soul of all the souls, the supreme truth, the supreme dhamma, param dhamma, sustenance. He holds everything. Pavitram, he is the complete purest. Paramam Bhavan, he is the absolute truth again. Purusham is not talking about some light. He is the, the Adi Purusha, Govindam Adi Purusham. Shashvatam means eternal. He does not change with time. Krishna is God. He always remains God, even on the lap of his mother. It's not that he has to go to gym and get some muscles and then he fights and then kills the Rakshasas. He is always God. He is God. He will remain God. And those who think, I'll become God, but they become actually dogs. <laughs> because God is always God, right? So, so there's no competition. There should no, be no competition. A devotee, we are servants of God. We don't want to become God, right? Because there's no competition. That, that's, that role, that seat is always fixed. And a beautiful point here is coming that we, when we quote, when we share this message of Bhagavad Gita, or when we share, a lot of people these days say, oh, I think God is that. I think God is this. I think there's no God. I think God is, you know, does it, what does it matter, right? Who are you to comment about God? You don't practice the words of God. You have not read Bhagavad Gita. And then those people try to comment on God. That's not appropriate. It's as good as I'm saying, oh, I think, you know, I have no clue about cancer. I no, don't know anything about cancer. And I think, oh, I think if you have cancer or someone has cancer, they should do this. They should do that. They'll say, Baba, what's your authority to comment about that? Have you done some research? Have you done, you know, it's, it takes you know, MBBS and MD and then postdoc and this doc and that doc. And then they become cancer experts and they're still trying to figure out. And you, you don't have even like your fifth fail and you're commenting about, you didn't even pass your fifth grade and you're commenting about cancer, right? Will we take their words seriously? Certainly not. But someone who is a pure devotee of God, we will take their words seriously in the matter of Supreme Lord or in the spiritual circle, we learn from the authorities. So therefore, Arjuna is quoting, hey Baba, it's not me who is saying this. Asita, Devala, Vyasa, Ahustvam, Rishya, Sarve, all the Rishiganas, they're speaking of the same thing. It's not just me I'm telling this. So we should always, therefore, these kids have learned so many wonderful verses, which all of us should try at least few verses, top 10 verses, top 20, 25 verses. We should know the famous verses of Bhagavad Gita, which Prabhupada is quoted often. That when tomorrow we are talking about God to someone, it's not that, oh, I feel God is. No, no, Bhagavad Gita, text number 10.11 says this, 2.7 states this. Therefore, I'm saying this. All the Rishiganas, all the great soul, souls, all the, the Acharyas are saying this. And Swayam Chayava Bravishime, you also are speaking the same thing. Swayam, Swayam, you have also said, like, there's a nice short video. Indra says Krishna is God. Brahma says Krishna is God. Narada says Krishna is God. Uh, Sun God. Vivaswan says Krishna is God. Lord Shiva says Krishna is God. Arjuna says Krishna is God. And then we ask God, Krishna, who is God? Krishna says, yes, I am God. <laughs> so I am Chayva Bravishime. <laughs> right? So there is no confusion. The confusion is amongst the mortal, you know, tiny jivas who are in ignorance. The demigods are not fighting for the competition to the post of God. They all know very well, right? Let's take a beautiful verse from the Srimad Bhagavatam in this connection, that there is no fight amongst the demigods. They're not competing. Let's see. And then you may say, well, is there a proof for it? Well, let's talk about the proof from Srimad Bhagavatam. Vedi, want to read this? Hare Krishna. Yam Yam Brahma Varunendra Rutra Marutas Tunvanti Divya Stavir 
वेदे संग पद क्रमोपनिषदेर गायंती यम समागा ध्यान वस्तिथ तद गतेन मनसा पश्यंती यम योगिनो यस यस्यांतम ना विदु सुरा सुरा गन देवया तस्मे नमः Sutta Goswami said, Unto that personality whom Brahma, Varuna, Indra, Rudra, and the Maruts praise by chanting transcendental hymns and reciting the Vedas with all their corollaries, Padakrams and Upanishads, to whom the chanters of the Sam Veda always sing, whom the perfected yogis see within their minds after fixing themselves in trance and absorbing themselves within him, and whose limit can never be found by any demigod or demon, unto that supreme personality of Godhead I offer my humble obeisances. Hare Krishna. Hare Thank you. Isn't this wonderful? Right? Brahma, Indra, uh, Varuna, Rudra, Lord Shiva, Maruta, etc. And they're just some names. Hmm? Here, Arjuna also said, Ahustam Rishya Sarve. He just said for oh, everyone. Even we are reading in the Bhagavatam recently, Canto 10, Chapter 2, before Krishna was born, all these great rishis were present Asita, Devala, Narada, Shiva, Brahma, etc., etc. And they're all singing wonderful. There are like almost 15, 20 verses they're singing in praise of, of Krishna, who is about to be born. Even in Bhagavatam Canto 4, Lord Shiva is saying, one who is a de my devotee uh, is actually not dear to me. But one who is my master's devotee, one who is devotee of Krishna is more dear to me. Lord Shiva himself is speaking. And there are so many verses. All the yogis are seeing that form in, the, in their heart, in Dhyana Vastha. Those who are not by their knowledge, we discuss by their learning, by this or that, we cannot understand Krishna. No one can know the limit of the Supreme Lord. We have discussed in the Brahma Vimohan Leela also. Because he is unlimited. Avgyayam. He is Param Brahma. Right? The rich people of this world have a hard time calculating the, their wealth, which is very insignificant. Right? Maybe trillion dollars, but still it's insignificant in compared to uh, Lakshmi Pati. Thousand Lakshmi Sahasra Satasam Pramasevyamanam. Millions of Lakshmis are waiting in queue to serve Krishna. What is, what is the, you know, we cannot fathom uh, the wealth. So in short, this chapter is about the, the opulence, uh, the opulence of the absolute. And why is it important to know the opulence of the absolute? Anyone? Why? Why should we even care to know about the opulence of the absolute? Right? Any thoughts? Yes, Super Prabhu, what to say? So that way we will know how insignificant we are. Very nice. We will know whom we are talking to, right? For example, if we get a meeting with the Prime Minister, we won't take it cheaply, right? Right? Or the president of the country. We will we will we'll be very you know cautious that what are that every second I utilize very appropriately. Firstly, an ordinary soul or ordinary person will not get in the when one gets because of let's say whatever great thing one we have done, literally, still they will be very cautious. Yes, Vinita. Hare Krishna, I think that we need to know about uh, like the opulence of the absolute so that we, because it helps us like develop a personal connection with him. Very nice. It helps to develop a connection. Because if we take shelter of a person who cannot help us, who, who, who is, for example, you know, Krishna is a real friend. He never betrays anyone. He never leaves us. He's always with us. We can always develop that connection. Very nice point, right? Because if I develop a connection with the ordinary people of this world, they will betray us or at the time of death, they will certainly part away. But if our connection is with the Supreme Lord, 
and that we have to know through by knowing his opulence or his qualities or his characters. Very nice. Any other thoughts anyone has? Liberation. Liberation become very uh, easy. Liberation becomes easy. Okay. From this material body. Mm -hmm. By knowing the opulence of the absolute. Okay. That is. Yeah. Yeah. When we take, when we understand about the greatness of God, then we will, we will understand that what is next, that, that we must follow him. And what does mean by following is bhakti yoga, because ultimately the personal liberation we talk about is, is to go back home, back to God. It. And going back home, back to God, it will become easy when we know who am I and who is God, Sambandha. So I think all of you shared excellent points. And then one in this chapter, which we will talk more about, uh, is we will be able to see the hand of God in every aspect of life, right? We will be able to see the connection of God, right? Because the whole goal is to remember Krishna always and to never forget, right? Satatam smartavya vishnu vismartavya na jatachit. Always remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. If you, <laughs> this is the essence of all scriptures. This is the sum and substance of all the rules and regulations. To always remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. But how will it happen? For example, let's say you have a sibling and who used to use this pen, right? I had a, when I went to my cousin's home way back when I was, when I was maybe like 12 years old or something. I don't remember, 10 or 12 years. So at that time, one of my uh, cousin, my mama's daughter, and then her uh, brother, Right. So the brother had gone outside, outside means a uh, foreign country, somewhere in London or somewhere to study. And then she was missing her, her brother, right? Quite natural because now they are their buddies, they are friends. They are, you know, the younger sister is missing the elder brother because the elder brother, and they both are quite elder to me, but they were that time still, they must be around 15 years, 16 years. I was maybe around 12, you know, kids playing and all that stuff. So accidentally, you know, not to offend her or anything, I, I th there was a comb there. And while, while playing, I, I threw the comb, you know, and then she felt very offended. Oh, why? She said, this is the, my brother's comb. How dare you throw the comb, right? And I was like, later I was thinking at that time, I didn't have that much uh, you know, processing power to understand. But I was thinking that, this, she's identifying the, she's seeing the brother through the comb, isn't it? Are you able to get this story? Similarly, when we see the hand of God, we're able to remember God in every aspect of life, isn't it? And that we will we'll study more in these. So therefore it's important when we know about the opulence, that who's the source of all these sun and the moon and the water and the earth? You know, the scientists are not producing in the factories, right? Rather, they're using all this to create some waste primarily. <laughs> so how will we know all these truths? How will we know about the op opulence of the absolute truth? Primarily, Prabhupada is mentioning here. Uh, each and every word spoken by Arjuna is confirmed by Vedic injunction. So therefore, it's a good lesson that we should also speak the words of the Vedas, scriptures, Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavatam. Therefore, in ISKCON, uh, in every class, there will be multiple verses quoted. Right? And this is very important. Every ISKCON speaker, you will see they are quoting multiple verses. Oh, Chaitanya Charita Amrita states this. Bhagavad Gita states this. Bhagavatam states this. Munduka Upanishad states. Prabhupada is also doing the Sridhar Swami states this, Hari Shoriji states this, Valde Vidya Bhushan states this. Then someone said to Prabhupada, Baba, what is yours? Right? What is yours? And Prabhupada said, actually nothing is mine. This is the biggest comment. I am just a parrot repeating the words of Guru Parampara. Therefore, it's called Bhagavad Gita as it is. 
So this should be our mood also. We we don't have to concoct everything. Everything is there. We just have to repeat it. I I'm not saying anything different. I'm whatever I have heard. Yeah, I said sooner. Trying to assimilate and trying to repeat. Right. So this should be our mood. You know, because in tomorrow you will be sharing this with others, friends, neighbors, your congregation, etc. So we just have to always remember that we quote from scriptures, we quote from Gita, Bhagavatam, etc. And just repeat the words of the Acharya. Arjuna is also doing the same. And he's also saying that the, the Rishis have also done the same. And one other important point before we move to the next verse. Hmm. What's this point? Vedic injunctions. I'll read from the book. Vedic injunctions affirm that only those who take to devotional service to the Supreme Personality of God can understand Him. Okay. It means non devotees cannot understand, which we have already discussed. Each and every word of this verse spoken by Arjuna is confirmed by the Vedic injunction. So, again, that very important point. Yeah, this, this is here. Through Bhakti, we can understand. Arjuna was given this knowledge because he was a devotee. Right? Very important point. Others cannot understand. Hmm? Okay. Then we'll move on to the next uh, verse. And this is the parampara system Prabhupada is mentioning. If you want to understand Bhagavad Gita, we should accept the statements in these two verses. This is called parampara system. So this is disciplic succession. Therefore, Bhagavad Gita as it is. Therefore, we have to repeat the words of the Acharyas and, and um, not like I feel, I feel this is Gita, I feel God is this, I feel that this is who are we to comment about God. Okay, next verse. Let's study this. Chital Mataji, and today. Hare Krishna. Sarvam metad ritamani Yanamam vadasi keshava Nahi te bhagavan vyaktim Vidur deva nadanava. Translation, O oh Krishna, I totally accept as truth all that you have told me. Neither the demigods nor the demons, O oh Lord, can understand your personality. Hari Bol. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Mataji. So we discussed that uh, neither the demigods nor the, the asuras. The, the point is that these people are powerful. Right. By power, by learning, by by one's so-called greatness, by degrees, by wealth, or all these material qualities, one cannot understand. How can one understand? Only through the process of bhakti yoga one can understand. And we have discussed that story of the South Indian Brahmana multiple times, that how he was very illiterate how he did not have great Sanskrit knowledge, how he... Biprakahe murkh ami shabd arth nahi jani shuddha shuddha gita padi guru agya mani Biprakahe, Vipra, the Brahmanas, Vipra says, oh, murkh ami, I am a, I am a fool. They are, hey, hey, murkh, hey, foolish people. Hey, you don't understand how to read Bhagavad Gita. Hey, uh, why are you reading Gita? You can't even read, pronounce properly. You are, you are, your reading is good for nothing. They would mock him, they would make fun of him, they would insult him and all that stuff. But Shabda Arthanaijan, he could not understand what does this mean. He would sometimes hold the book this way, that way. But Shuddha Ashuddha Gita Padi Guru Agyaman. His Guru, his Guru Maharaj, his spiritual master told him, my dear child, please read Bhagavad Gita every day. Just trying to follow the footsteps of the spiritual master. Dibya Gyan Hrida Prakashito in the story of this South Indian Brahmana, in the story of um, 
this who is that lady in Ramayana making Shabri, Shabri, yeah. right? The Shabri, he was, she was also very low class, right? And externally, she did not know big, big verses. The Brahmanas would make fun, but she had firm faith. My Guru Maharaj told me that the Supreme Lord Ram would come Sakshat. Matanga Rishi told that Lord will come. She had faith. She was constantly serving. And by the power of her devotion, the berries would not go stale. The flowers would not go stale because she was pouring her love into those. This is bhakti. So bhakti yoga is much higher than all these other forms of yoga practices hmm. that faithless demonic people cannot understand. It can be only understood when one becomes a devotee of the Lord. That point is repeated again and again and again and again. Um, so we must also try to become a devotee of God by falling in the parampara system, by falling in the instruction of spiritual master. Next number 15. Yes, Aparna Mataji, you want to read? Or Prakriti wants to read? Hare Krishna. Savayam ivitam manatam manam vithatvam purushatam bhuta bhavana bhutase deva deva jagatpate. Translation Indeed, you alone know yourself by your own eternal potency. O Supreme Person, origin of all. Lord of all beings, God of gods, Lord of the universe. Back to you, Hare Krishna. Thank you. Very nice. Let's read the first paragraph of the purport. Let's read this. Yes, Avani. Krishna, the Supreme Lord Krishna can be known by persons who are in a relationship with him through the discharge of devotional service like Arjuna and his followers. Persons of demonic or atheistic mentality cannot know Krishna. Mental speculation that leads one away from the Supreme Lord is a serious sin, and one who does not know Krishna should not try to comment on Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita is the statement of Krishna, and since it is the science of Krishna, it should be understood from Krishna as Arjuna understood it. It should not be received from atheistic persons. Hare Krishna. Wonderful. Isn't this such so many important lines to reflect upon here? Thank you for reading this. Can be known by those who are in relationship. So that is the whole goal of our life, to strengthen our relationship with God or the Supreme Lord. We are trying to build so many relationships, right? Friends, family, community, office, country, so many tags we are giving, right? Oh, he's a manager, oh, he's Indian, oh, he's American, oh, he's a father, oh, he's a mother, oh, he's a doctor, oh, he's an engineer, oh, he is the president of... Uh, this and this club. Oh, he's the vice president of the of this city. Oh, he's the governor. Oh, he has this post, that post. So many relation, right? But we forget one relation, which is the most important relationship, and that is to reestablish our last or dormant relationship with Krishna. Hmm. But the Thakur also says, "Bhuliya Tomar, I have forgotten you." And running here and there to establish so many relationships, but once. Krishna Bhakti Koilo Sarva Karma Krito. When we establish relationship with Krishna, then everything goes, you know, as we were discussing yesterday, Krishna Vahe. He was, Vasudev was holding Krishna. He became the, the, uh, uh, a Vahan for Krishna. When you want to become the one who carries Krishna in their heart, that means establishing relationship, right? Because what is in our heart? where we have a relationship. It could be our friend, our, our mother, our father, right? Those who are dear to us, we carry them in, their, in our hearts, right? So devotee always carries Krishna in their heart. And how will it become, how will it strengthen our relationship? As, as Vinita said so nicely, when we hear about Lord, when we know about his opulence, 
when we talk about him when we talk about materialistic things let's say movies and games and this what will happen our relationship with that character that actor actress or whatever fictitious or whatever it will increase right you agree with that what do people do in fan clubs let's say some hero or heroine they talk about oh you know about his childhood oh he was like this oh you know about his struggles oh you know how he got this you know his role in this movie that movie they talk about all that they take uh, parasparanu kathanam pavanam bhagavatesha mithorati mithotushti nivritta mitha atmanah is 10.10 also says this the same point machita madgata prana they talk about uh, bodhayanta paraspara so who are we talking about who is who is dear to us who are we trying to establish relationship this is the essence we have to establish relationship with the one who will never leave us who will always is the most dearest friend ami bina bandhu ar kya che tomar lord goranga especially come who could be a better well wisher than he than the supreme lord than goranga mahaprabhu's appearances on thursday um so we should must establish relationship with the supreme lord and be away from mental speculators or bad association who try to you know just concoct on the statements of bhagavad gita that is not the right way of understanding gita that will uh, rather take us to the wrong path right don't uh, blind following the blind or blind leading the blind right andhantarastan upagi andhantarasta Vis Prahlad Maharaj says this verse. I'm forgetting that verse. Basically, these days, blind leaders and blind followers, right? The people are following the blind because the leaders themselves don't know what is right. They don't follow Bhagavad Gita. They are not trying to establish relationship. And then, what will what will be the most important thing for them in their life? Basically, materialistic things, right? And that's what the material propaganda is all about. enjoy live life king size yolo <laughs> you only live once right <laughs> yolo is going on these days or fomo fear of missing out you only live once you better do whatever you want now right yavat jivit sukham jivit ridam kritma ghritam pivit bhasmi bhut dehasya kim punaragam who cares about tomorrow beg borrow or steal enjoy therefore 80% of the people here are living on credit cards right because that's how they have lived their life in sense gratification is the main principle the focus of life is 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 to selfish enjoyment right so and who cares about tomorrow this is again it's like a child saying i don't think sun is there i don't think you know i can think whatever i think but the the laws of god will not change that the child can think i can put my hand in fire it won't burn i don't care about fire okay don't care but don't when it gets burned then don't complain whether we are a child basically child in bhakti or child in the spiritual knowledge or we are totally oblivious or ignorant about the spiritual laws or we don't care to even open the book that does not mean that the laws will change let's say someone comes from india and then starts driving on the on the left side of the road and says baba i didn't know here the rule is different please excuse me will the government excuse that person right if someone says well in my country they 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 stop on green light in your country they stop on red light baba we have to we have to know the the laws of the land or the laws of the spirit or, or this land where we are in the laws of the body the laws of the soul we have to know those laws ignorance is not an excuse right krishna is giving this knowledge for everyone the, the acharyas are giving the guru parampara is giving if we remain oblivious it's not their problem it's our problem therefore intelligent people like all of you take to this message Any thoughts further before we move on to the next words? Any thoughts so far? Questions? Okay, number sixteen. Who will read? Sampada. Hare Krishna. Text 
वक्तुम अर्हसि अस्य सेना दिव्याहि आत्मा विभूतयः या फिर विभूति फिर लोकान इमाम स्टॉम व्यात्यतिस्थसि ट्रांसलेशन ओके प्लीज टेल मी इन डिटेल ऑफ योर डिवाइन ऑपुलेंसेस बाय व्हिच यू प्रोवाइड ऑल दिस वर्ल्ड्स हे कृष्ण प्रभु जी बात Hare Krishna thank you so much So Arjuna already knows about the supreme lord right Arjuna is already satisfied with his understanding of the supreme personality of god right By the grace of by Krishna's grace Arjuna has personal experience intelligence and knowledge and whatever else a person may have right and through all these agencies he has understood the supreme lord krishna to the supreme personality of god for him there is no doubt right very very important arjuna has no doubt yet he is asking krishna to explain in more detail for whom for people in general and the impersonalist who always are doubting about krishna who want to see the more about the vibhutis of the law the pure devotees are more interested in the sweetness of the law like even ishoda mata was never wanted to see Krishna in like four-handed form, killing demons. Rather, she would be even Krishna would kill, and she would always want to feed the child, care for the child, and make you know preparations for the child. But people in general want to see, oh God, must be something you know extraordinary. Must be something really you know uh, not two hands. I have two hands. God has two hands. What's the big deal? God should be something different. Or in person, let's say like so to clarify their doubts or our doubts or the general masses' doubts. Krishna is uh, being asked by Arjuna to show the different energies or different vibhutis mm, on behalf of common people. So Arjuna is basically like a, like a, you know, like a host interviewing the expert. As we have discussed, the host asks the interviewer, like let's say a doctor, a cancer expert comes. Well, what are the symptoms of cancer? And then next week, then some, you know, uh, like let's say. Um, high blood pressure expert is coming. He asks, "Oh, how do we? How can we prevent?" How? The less intelligent people will think, "Baba, this host has high blood pressure, cancer, and this and this and all the disease, right?" He's not asking for himself. He's asking for the audience in general, so everyone else can be benefited. Therefore, we see great qualities here. Please tell me in detail, right? In material life, people want to watch a three-hour movie, but bhakti. They say, "Baba, jaldi jaldi bata do." Don't <laughs> tell me in ten minutes. <laughs> movie they want to see in detail, right? Hey, jaldi, jaldi karo jaldi. I don't want to miss the beginning, right? Isn't that? So the first scene is most important. I don't want to miss. And then complaining, "Oh, I have paid the full money. We have bought the tickets. Why are you delaying? Complaining to the father or the wife, telling the husband, husband telling the wife. Someone is late always." right <laughs> you have to be there fully 100% focus for those 3 hours or 2 and a half or 2 hours but in krishna consciousness with no offense to anyone right the program is at 4 okay i'll be there I'll be there 4:30 5 by the time prashadam begins i'll definitely be there class okay who cares class <laughs> class to chalta rahega <laughs> we are we have our own class our class is the prashada <laughs> and and that's common at the, at the time kirtan begins okay 10 people little bit 20 30 40 prashada so then only 100 people show up right <laughs> uh this is krishna consciousness but uh, we have to see the kind of as we approach we will he will reciprocate ye tamam prapadyante tam satay bajami hum attention to detail is a symptom of love it's on sadhana maharaj says that devotees want to learn about krishna his glories his pastime his name his form his qualities in 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 detail please tell me in great detail they don't want to check the box okay i have to be in the class because maybe some senior devotees are watching who is present in the class they will ask baba why you didn't come so let me check the box shortcut le liya 
आप अचिंतित भेद है भेद आ भी गया नहीं भी आया आई एम प्रेजेंट एट द सेम टाइम नॉट प्रेजेंट और 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 हरिंग हरिंग समटाइम्स यू नो द क्लास मे गो बियॉन्ड वन आवर द भागवतम क्लास मे गो स्टार्ट टू सी बाय द क्लॉक व्हाई इज इट टेकिंग सो सुखदेव गोस्वामी वाज स्पीकिंग फॉर 7 डेज 7 नाइट्स द ग्रेट डिटेल एंड परीक्षित महाराज हियरिंग इन ग्रेट डिटेल no food no bathroom break no food break no because they are enjoying krishna katha in all the assembly as well right so this is a quality of a devotee he wants to know in great detail they want to know the essence they want to they want to go deeper so we must try to go deeper in our bhakti not just swim on the surface the jewels in will come when we go deeper like the ocean has jewels the jewels of bhakti will come when we go deeper so when our love and when and chanting not checking the box right oh i done okay chanting the yoga ajka go deeply in detail am i chanting properly am i pronouncing properly am i am i giving 100% attention at least trying to striving to struggling to right it's a joyful struggle hmm. talking about struggle Prabhupada was the Juhu project. You know, he had a lot of struggle. Prabhupada said this project is a headache. This project is a headache. Um, and so on said, okay, Prabhupada, then why don't we this kind of you know, most think something else like you know, do some other project. Prabhupada said that this project is headache, but it's blissful. <laughs> In material world, there is headache and suffering. or distress in spiritual life there is headache even more headache <laughs> but it it is the real joy mata yashoda had lot of headaches <laughs> always thinking about krishna what will happen to my child nand maharaj had so much headaches right headache means anxiety spiritual anxiety right so the devotee also takes spiritual anxiety it must take if you are not taking that means you are not struggling to be krishna conscious krishna conscious we have to struggle This, and if we are struggling, that means we are trying to go against the flow. If we are not struggling, that means we are flowing with the flow, right? So very nice points here. Uh, greed, utsal, nishchid, hari, lollyam, tatra, lollyam, iti mulyam. There is Anjana is showing inquisitiveness. Let's see the qualities he is showing: inquisitiveness, eager to know, inquisitive, humble, right? Many people are inquisitive to know, but they think they already know everything. so they want to test the guru they want to test the speaker whether the, the speaker speaks what i am thinking so they will not get now the glass is already full humility tadvidhi pranipati the greed for bhakti is the price for advancement spiritual greed tat lollyam iti mulyam this is only one mool and that is uh, spiritual greed any thoughts comments in this verse Before we move to the next one, yes, Vinita, maybe you can read text seventeen. Hare Krishna, Katham Vidya Maham Yogin Stam Tam Sada Pari Chintayan Keshu Keshu Chabhaveshu Chintyo Si Bhagwan Maya. O oh Krishna, O oh Supreme Mystic, how shall I constantly think of you, and how shall I? know you in what various forms are you to be remembered o supreme personality of godhead hari krishna hari krishna thank you so much so as we discussed earlier in the prior previous verse that arjuna is not asking for himself rather he has is asking for common people arjuna is already a pure devotee he is man mana bhav mad bhav so he is always thinking about krishna hmm? and that's what is is how should i constantly think of you it may seem that he is not always thinking of krishna but he is actually always thinking of krishna he already knows the supreme lord but he is asking this question for the general masses because general masses are always thinking about what it depends a child is thinking about playing video games right tv maybe adult is thinking about job money home car right most of the times family me mine whatever is important to them let's put it this way whatever they feel is important for them they will think about that right so whatever is important our mind will definitely go and now how do we decide what's most important either we can decide through our conditioned mind 
or through the negative influences or the bad association, they will say, 99% of the population will say what is most important, right? In the previous days, like if health is lost, uh, something is lost. If wealth is lost, nothing is lost. In the, in the in Vedic times, wealth is lost, nothing is lost. If health is lost, one level down, something is lost. If character is lost, everything is lost. These days, flip it over. 180 degree flip. If health, if wealth is lost, sorry, if character is lost, nothing is lost. There's no integrity, no character. Who says? Oh, yes, you said this yesterday. I don't care what I said. <laughs> health is lost, still in the middle, remains in the middle. But if wealth is lost, everything is lost. Right? That's what people, because that's the most important thing for pretty much 99% of the population. Therefore, therefore, we are suffering. The real suffering is lack of Krishna consciousness. The real suffering is forgetfulness of, of God. So we have to keep the priority. The main thing is to keep the main thing, the main thing. And the main thing in human form of life is to establish a relationship. We are not saying to give up job. We're not saying to give up family. We're not saying to give up home. But in all that, the center should be Krishna, Krishna consciousness. A devotee also has home. A devotee also has family, car, job, business, whatever, you know, needs for the health, needs for, you know, pays taxes, all that a normal citizen is doing. But the focus is Krishna consciousness, how I can advance in bhakti more. Whereas a non-devotee also does all those things, taking care of the car, home, uh, family, job, and business, and taxes, and mortgage, and whatnot. So many things one has to juggle through in life. But the focus is selfish enjoyment, sense gratification. This is the main difference. So let's read the uh, last few lines of this purport. Who would like to read? I can read Parvoji. Yeah, let's read from here. The common man who has no love for Krishna cannot always think of Krishna. Therefore, he has to think materially. Arjun is considering the mode of thinking of the materialistic persons of this world. The words Keshu, Keshu, Cha Bhaveshu refer to material nature. The word Bhava means physical things. Because materialists cannot understand Krishna spiritually, they are advised to concentrate the mind on physical things and try to see how Krishna is manifested by physical representations. Hari Krishna. Thank you so much. This is beautiful. For a common man, it's hard, right? To always think of Krishna. But indirect way, at least as I gave the example of that comb of my 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 uh, cousin, I threw that comb. My other cousin got upset because she was identifying the brother with the comb, which is a nice way of you know affection. But the real point is, can we do that for Krishna, right? His Holiness Atanath Maharaj, I was hearing a class this morning and I really like this point, which I want to share. Let's hear this carefully. We are grateful to anyone who gives anything. I mean, that also is very rare these days, but at least you're supposed to. <laughs> we are grateful to anyone who gives us anything. Isn't it? Right? But we are not grateful to God who gives us everything. We are grateful to anyone who gives us anything, but we are not grateful to God, Krishna, the Supreme Lord of all Lords, who gives us everything. Let's say someone gives us food. We are very hungry and someone gives us food, right? A meal, a lunch, a dinner, whatever. Won't we be grateful? Right? We will be grateful that that person helped us at the time of need I was very, very hungry, very thirsty. That person gave me food and water, right? In general, we'll be grateful, isn't it? And we'll say, thank you so much. I'm so grateful to you. I was really hungry. 
and I was really wanted some food and, and I'm so blessed that you gave me food. Thank you so much. Uh, and I would love to reciprocate in some way, right? That's a, a decent, a sober person would do, right? Or someone gives us, you know, little food, clothes, money, X, Y, Z things. We'll be grateful. Even someone opens a door for us these days. It's a nice culture, uh, which a lot of things to learn from different cultures. And, and in America, generally people open the door for the other person or the next person, which is a nice thing. Um, and the other person says, thank you, which is nice, right? We express gratitude. But we forget about someone who gives us everything at all times. Isn't it? That is Krishna. <laughs> the air we are breathing every moment. Can anyone live without it? Every moment he is giving. Every moment. How many times we breathe? Like 60, 70 times we breathe. Right? Every minute. Hmm? The sun. Just imagine. With life without sun. It won't be there. Right? The air we are breathing, the, the bhumi, Mother Earth, right? We are stepping in onto Mother Earth. She's sustaining us. She's also bhumi rapu nalo vayu kham mano buddhi revacha ankara tiyammi bhinna prakriti ashtada. Is also the energy of the law. So, like that, Krishna is going to now, Arjuna is asking for the common man, at least when we see the ocean, we can see how, how these waves are coming back and forth. The people are using it to generate electricity, tidal waves, and whatnot, geothermal. Um, but the whole point is, who is the source of all that? You know, when something is given for free, we, we take it for granted. And that's what happens with most people. They don't value the gifts of God. He's giving those gifts every day, every moment. But we don't value those. Well, an intelligent person, a sober person, will not be ungrateful. Right? He will be grateful. Thank you, God. Right? Thank you, Krishna. You're giving me the air to breathe. If someone saves someone's life, let's say by doing CPR, uh, right? Some of you may be familiar with the CPR. In the, in the emergency, they have to really you know, pump the, the, the chest so that somehow the, I don't know all the medical terms, I, all, I got this CPR training in my company. But uh, I don't know all the technical terms. I won't be the right person to express it. But the point is they try to uh, you know, do this, uh, create a suction kind of thing so that the person can be uh, get the, the air circulation back, right? <laughs> and the, the whole point is that they keep pressing and, and get safe. It's a successful. Let's say if someone did CPR to you or to us, we were in a critical time. And then they basically revived us. What will we do to them? Anyone? Any, any thoughts? What will we do to them or say to them or, or right? Any, anyone feedback? Is the situation clear? We are in a critical time. We, are, we don't know what's going on. And someone did CPR to us. And, and we were in the danger. And then we, we, were, we, we got our life back pretty much, right? We, we were revived. So what, will, what next we will do, right? Is it too difficult? No, we would be grateful, Prabhuji. Gratitude. We'll be grateful. We will more. not, I mean, we will be grateful all our life. We will say, Ajivan aapke abhar prakat karte hain. Ajivan. Mm -hmm. You gave me this life again. Very nice. We'll be grateful. We'll be very, very grateful. It's much different than opening the door. It's much different than giving a glass of water. Basically, that person would have not come at the right time. Let's say if it was an accident, critical emergency, that person would have not come at the right time. The body would be dead. So we will be highly grateful. We'll be like Ajivan, you know, lifelong we'll be grateful. We'll, we'll reciprocate by how can I, how can I, what can I do for you? Right? Can I, can I help you? you no, know, in any way, please tell me, right? We will do best of our capacity.
to help that person, right, to reciprocate because that person gave me life back. Hmm? Now think about that person did tiny CPR and we're so grateful, so grateful, not just grateful, we're very, very grateful. God is doing that every moment, <laughs> isn't it? In this COVID times, we know air circulation, oxygen cylinders were all a big thing. Now, by God's great, things are improving. We have a different problem now. That's material world. One problem goes, other problems come. Material world. We have a war problem now, and other we won't go in that. But the point is, material world, one thing or the other keeps going. But in the COVID times, this is in the hospital, a person was in, needed oxygen, one after the other, one after the other, a lot of cylinders in this. And the bill came, Baba. 5,000 euros. This is your bill. And the person started crying. Oh my God. 5,000 euros? I was less than five days in your hospital? And that's like, like six to seven thousand dollars. Right? That's a lot of money. And that too with insurance. <laughs> so, it's a whole different thing. <laughs> And, and the doctors and the nurses and the staff came, Baba, I think maybe if you can't do all at once, we have a payment plan for you. You can do in five years. Punch Varsha Yojana, you can do EMIs and all that. He said, no, and my point is, no, by, by God's grace, I have wealth. I'm not concerned about how will I repay it, but I'm concerned that for five days, these artificial oxygen cylinders, I had to pay $5,000. But God never asked a bill for me. For 50 years, he has been giving me this oxygen every day. Every moment, what would be his bill? Isn't it? And then the times comes to give donation. People generally give the fatawa note of 5 rupees or 1 rupees or 10 rupees in the temple. Jiska koi nahi uske bhagwan. Jo note koi nahi leke ho bhagwan. <laughs> the point is, if God would have given us the bill for oxygen, guess what? Right? We can't, you know, we should be so grateful. If someone gives a nice electric lamp to us, right? Nice electric lamp, which we use in our home or something, won't we be grateful? Thank you. Oh, it's a beautiful lamp, right? If Mataji has in the middle of Vedi and uh, Mataji. <laughs> a nice lamp. Right? If someone, you must be grateful, right? Whether your husband got it or your friend got it, you'll, you'll express it. Right? But the sun, the big lamp glowing every day, right? No electricity bill, isn't it? So like that, there are so many gifts Krishna is giving us every moment, every time. So we must always be grateful. And how can we be grateful? What does he want? Does he want our money? Does he want our, what do you want, our home? He, he says in Bhagavad Gita what he wants. Become my devotee. Mm -hmm. And by doing so, actually, we will not lose anything. We will gain even more. He needs us. For example, let's say I help Ravi Prabhu and Ravi Prabhu is grateful. And he wants to help me. And I say, me, oh, I, I am, you know, sh I, I, I need this help because I don't have, let's say, a contact in this domain. I'm struggling with this issue. Can you help me in this way? Now he wants to reciprocate and he has certain knowledge of that field and he'll help me out. Right? Now this is a material, this is between two mundane people, right? Or two jivas. Hmm? But when God asks something to us, it is not for his need. When, like when, when I help Ravi Prabhu, and, and Ravi Prabhu can ask me, can I, can, can I help you? I said, okay, you can help me in this way. I'm asking for my benefit, right? Is this clear, the difference here? But when God asks something, it is not for his benefit. It is for our benefit only. <laughs> when God says, offer me leaf, flower, fruits, water, etc., is he short of <laughs> those commodities due to inflation and supply chain crisis? 
he's short of those and he's asking for those. No. Lakshmi sahastra satasam brahma sevyamanam. He is never short of anything. He is purnam. Om purnam adha purnam idam. Purnat purna udat chate. He is complete in everything. He does not need anything. But when he asks also, it is so that Baba the Jeeva can engage in the worship of the Supreme Lord by different ways, by, by offering different articles, somehow establishing that connection. So that help is different from the help to the two mundane people. It's a big difference. So we must express gratitude and whatever best we can for our own benefit. <laughs> it's a big difference here. Okay, text number 18. Who would read this one? Who has not read so far? Really wants to read. Yes, Karina. Please read with your beautiful transcendental voice. Hare Krishna, Roji, Dham, Pranam, Agva, it's a show of one. Uh, our site verse um, 18. Vistarinat mano yogam vibhutim cha janardana bhuyaha kataya dripir hi shingato nasti me mitam Hare Krishna, a transition by his transition. Translation by his divine grace, Ace Bhakti Vinanta Swami Prabhupada of Bharki Jai. O Janardana, please, again, please describe in detail the mystic power of your opulences. I am never satisfied in hearing about you. For the more I hear, the more I want to taste the nectar of your words. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's read a beautiful verse. One more verse in the purport. By Shila Sutta Goswami to the sages of Nemisharanya, headed by Shanaka, who wants to read this verse and the translation. Bhagavatam. Yes, Rashmi Mataji. Please unmute first. Hare Krishna. Vayam to Ana Vitra Payama Utama Shloka Vikrayam Yak. Churn Watam Rasa Janana Swadhu Swadhu Pade Pade. One can never be satiated, even though one continuously hears the transcendental pastimes of Krishna, who is glorified by excellent prayers. Those who have entered into a relation into a transcendental relationship with Krishna, relish at every step the descriptions of the pastimes of the Lord. Shilpal Bhagavatam 1.1.19. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Isn't it beautiful? Swadu Swadu. Isn't it very Swad? <laughs> swadu Swadu Pade Pade. They are tasting the nectar at every step. And what is the quality? They are never satiated. Spiritual greed is good. Spiritually not satiation is good. Satiation means saturation. Material greed is bad. Materially one should be satisfied. Right? Because there's no end point. There's no end point in material life. Right? If someone has a, this bedroom house, he wants a bigger, he wants a bigger. This car, he wants a better car. New car comes, new gadget comes, new iPhone comes. New job, new this, new money, new more, 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 more. Materially, people are not satisfied. But devotees have that in spiritually. Devotees are not satisfied spiritually. That means they have hankering, utsa, nishtya, lolium, spiritual greed. And materially, they are satisfied. Okay, whatever Krishna arranges, I will do my needful endeavor to the best of my abilities. If Krishna has this plan for me, so be it. If Krishna has that plan for me, so be it. So material satisfaction is good. But the problem happens when materially we are hankering a lot and spiritually we are satisfied. Ha, mera ho gaya. Bas, subha, das mint, mene, mukti ho gaya. Done. Check the box. The spiritual hankering should be there. And always, actually I'm doing, but it's not sufficient. I should be doing more, 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 more. And that's Parishit Maharaj always wanted to hear more, more. Please tell in more detail. Vistarena, Vistarena. Atmanaha. Please tell me in great detail. Don't, don't take shortcuts. 
right? Parishit Maharaj has asked Shukdev Goswami about multiple pastimes in great detail, like the Gajendra story. Gajendra, you know, in one line, in one or two verses, Shukdev Goswami first tells that it was a king, it was, it was became Gajendra, and then later Lord Vishnu came and, and protected him. Done. Oh, then Parishit Maharaj, hold on, hold on, hold on. My dear Shukdev Goswami, why did the king become the elephant? How did Lord come? Why did the king got in the ch chuckles of the of the um, crocodile? Please tell me in great detail. This study now. But same with so many pastimes, Parishad Maharaj pauses out of respect, great respect, and, and inquisitiveness, eagerness that Arjuna is showing. So devotees should also have. And devotees should relish swadu swadu pade pade. The goal is not to just read Bhagavad Gita. The goal is to relish Bhagavad Gita. The goal is not to check a box. Oh, I, I know Bhagavad Gita. I have read it 10 times. Okay, what's the essence? Right? What or how much we're following, how much we're relishing. So, so we should relish Bhagavad Gita. This is a sweet. Holy name is sweet. One time someone asked, Madhana Maharaj, what is your favorite sweet? He said the holy names. <laughs> Swadu swadu padi madhuram madhuram <laughs> abhi madhuram amritam hmm? this is a real nectar so rather than hearing Harry Potter we should hear about Hari and Hari's putter Krishna and Krishna's devotees <laughs> Prabhupada is writing here who will read this hmm. yes he was not read yet Lakshay you want to read Yes, and and this nectar can be perceived by practical experience. Modern stories, fiction, and his, histories are different from the transcendental pastimes of the Lord in that one will tire of hearing mundane stories, but one never tires of hearing about Krishna. It is for this reason only that the history of the whole universe is replete with references to the pastimes of the incarnations of God. Thank you. So Lord has given, there is so much to read, so much, you know, Prabhupada has given so much that we can just keep reading, keep hearing. There will be, you know, we will always have more. <laughs> Every day, thousands of lectures by ISKCON devotees are uploaded on YouTube. So if we expand ourselves into thousand forms and keep hearing, whole day, 24 hours, we still cannot catch up. Prabhupada has 4,000 plus hours of recorded Prabhupada Vani direct. 4,000 plus hours. Hmm. So every day if you hear Prabhupada Vani for one hour, it will take 4,000 days. How many years that is? Who knows math? Approximately? Nine years? years. Nine years. Nine years? Yeah, about 12 years. Kind of 12 years. Yeah, close to 11-ish years. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 11, 12 years. Yeah. Very nice. Plus Prabhupada Vani directly audios what to speak of the books. <laughs> Prabhupada has given so many books that even if we read one day, uh, one hour a day, it will take us multiple years to read all Prabhupada's books. Hmm. And of course, his disciples, grand disciples, so much, so much nectar is there. So this is all Arjuna's verses from 12 to 18, which we covered today. Just to kind of give the essence, we discuss about gratitude to the Supreme Lord, spiritual hankering, understanding in detail, lolium, material satisfaction. And this helps to, to, to establish relationship. This helps us to not take Krishna cheaply, right? If I say, oh, president is X, right? Mr. X, let's say. Let's say you go to a new country, you're not totally unaware. If the president is standing in front of you, you'll not know, isn't it? But then someone tells you, Baba, the person who was, who was right in front of you is so-and-so, he's the president of the country. And oh, really? I wish you would have told me earlier, right? Same when we go to the Holy Dham. Like I, I remember, I, you know, we passed uh, the Damodar Lila where the place Damodar Lila happened, the still that stone is present. 
when the first time we went, no one shared the glories of, of that past time. So for us, it was a stone, right? First time. But then later, one devotee gave an hour or two hours class about Ramotar Tila and that place and that stone in that place. Now, guess what? Will that experience be different or the same as first time? Million times different, right? Now, I'm not seeing that stone as stone, right? Because now I have heard about the glories of that stone. So, so therefore, understanding the glories of Krishna helps us do all these things. Okay, last few minutes, we'll take some thoughts, reflections, comments. Uh, anyone has? Additions, yes, Prabhu, please. So, Prabhuji, you are telling to gratitude to the Lord. But if somebody asked me that the example you gave sunlight, oxygen, water, air, Lord is giving invariably to everybody bad person, good person, animals, trees. So, why he has to give special gratitude to the Lord that he did not see when? But the person who is helping him, there's a direct contact and he's helping him only individually to him. Well, it's a good point. Yes, God is given to everyone. For example, uh, even in mundane world, let's say someone does, someone calls us uh, like, you know, in, in, you know, in India, there's Bhandara, right? Langar, Bhandara kind of. Hmm? And actually, you know, the word, the word I was hearing, Bhandirvan, comes from the word Bhandara, because the Lord did Bhandara there. <laughs> so, uh, recently I heard that. Uh, again. So now, some people will come and go. Oh, he's giving to everyone free food, free food, free food. Khao piyo, moj karo. They won't care to express gratitude. Not everyone will come. But some people, those who have some good human qualities. They will say at least, I mean, this person is doing so much for everyone without consideration whether one is rich or poor, black or white, male or female. He's opened up his doors. But let me, at least, I can't do that much. At least say thank you. Not everyone will go and say thank you. But a gentle person will, right? So similarly, Krishna is giving to everyone. That's absolutely, that's his greatness. But what am I doing? I have to see. I can choose not to be grateful. That is fine. He will, he will not stop the sun supply or water supply. He will not stop it. That's his greatness. Right? But what is, I'm not great, but at least have some human qualities to at least do my part. I cannot do like him, but at least I can do my part to be, to be grateful so. Right? Which will help us only. Right? Even in material circles, gratitude is a great quality which is spoken about a lot. So yes, it's a choice. Someone can take, make that choice to be ungrateful. And Mother Earth says, the biggest burden on Earth is an ungrateful person. Someone, people do make that choice, but the consequences will also be there. We have a choice to be ungrateful or grateful. But the, the results will also be proportional to us. He will not stop because that's his magnanimity and greatness. Markhai prem de, do ya nitai chetanya boli nacharya. Markha ke bhi prem de, that's their greatness. But it's not a sober person will not hit them, right? Will not hit the Lord. Because that's because they give love even after hitting, that doesn't mean I will hurt them. Right? The point is, I should love them more. Right? Does that connect to your question? Thank you, Bhuji. Be nice. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Very nice question. Any other thoughts, additions? Anyone has? Anything struck Hare. you from? Yes, yes. Varna, Mataji, please. Hare Krishna. Everyone knows. Uh, the crisis is going between Ukraine and Russia. There was a news coverage. Uh, certain Ukraine soldiers were having the Jap Mala and they were chanting continuously Hare Krishna. 
in order to overcome the crisis. They were having their jap mala in their pockets. And there was a news coverage in all the uh, media headlines, which I watched. And there was a news article also. So reading, chanting is a bliss to overcome the material crisis. I hope so. All believe. Hare Krishna, back Thank to you. you. Thank you so much. Yes, absolutely. There are a lot of wonderful devotees in Ukraine. 54 plus centers are there still. Till day they are distributing meals to, to everyone possible. Um, it's a very tough situation, but yeah, so they are praying. They are doing their part. We should also do our part by, by through consciousness, chant extra, do kirtan. And if we can financially help to the channels, those who are uh, contributing for that cause, SCON Temple, SCON has also arranged certain platforms where we can financially also help. So whatever way we can help through, we cannot go there and physically help, not, but at least we can do from here what we can through chanting, reading, hearing, dedicating, praying for our consciousness matters, right? So thank you for that, that's really helpful. Yes, Ravni, Ravni, Ravni Prabhu, please. Yes, Prabhuji, um, you explained it so well, Prabhuji, and that is, uh, I was reflecting and thinking. That is why, you know, way back I have learned and I was not able to connect those. I mean, I was able to connect, but now it makes more sense. Like before the day, the day when we start our day, the first thing we have to be very grateful that I'm still able to enjoy my intelligence and the body that the god gave me so thank you that time and then every time you know drink a water or eat something be very grateful to those things that is coming in our way and it is like keeping us going so and that way we can thank krishna for giving uh, uh, all this throughout the day and that way we can be using that same that he said man mana bhava mad bhakto so at least keep remembering him all the time by nothing different we have to do it's just the same thing i will be doing drinking water eating food breathing air and uh, doing my activity but uh, just think about him that yes it's coming from you so i'm so grateful i'm so grateful i'm so grateful so that is so well Parfus. you explained it again so well always you always been uh you know yeah. the, you, you bring everything together so easily so that Thank i can uh, i can take it from there so yes, Parabhuji, thank you. Thank you wonderful, you reflection. wonderful reflections. I was hearing a class of Nidai Sivani Mataji. She was also mentioning, we should always say thank you, Krishna. You know, sometimes we forget, oh, where did I keep my keys? Oh, it's here. Thank you, Krishna, for reminding me. Thank you, Krishna, for giving me. I think in the, in the prayer, thank you, God, for the food we eat. Thank you, God, for the something. And prayer also is like that. It's more generic, but it's also nice. But in, in the in the in the ISKCON, in the Krishna consciousness, we, we keep it more specific. But but in the general masses, like uh, those who at least may not be practicing bhakti full fledged, even that, you know, as you said, thanking God, thanking the Supreme Lord for food, water, shelter, right? Is is a great is a great thing. It is is much better than being ungrateful. Very nice, bro. Thank you. So I know it's a little three ten thirty two. So we will pause here. And uh, thanks to all of you for your wonderful association, taking out your valuable time and giving your precious association, and giving a chance for to read here Bhagavad Gita together. So. Bhagavad Gita Upanishad ki chai, Shri Prabhupada ki chai, Samaveta Gaura Bhaktarinda ki chai, Vanchakal Patarupya Shri Kapasam Dutya Eva Cha, Patitana Pavani Pya Vishnu Pya Namorana. Hare Krishna, thank you. Hare, Hare Krishna, Dhamvat Hare Krishna, thank you. Uh, thank you, Parbhuji. Hare Krishna, Parbhuji, Dhamvana. Hare Krishna, Parbhuji, Dhamvana. Hare Krishna, Parbhuji, Dhamvana. Hare Krishna, Parbhuji, Dhamvana.